Switzerland. If you dream of skiing in the summer, inhaling fresh mountain air, admiring blossoming valleys, and clear blue lakes, pack up and go to Switzerland. Switzerland is in the heart of Western Europe. Surrounded by friendly countries, it has no access to the sea. However, in the north and the south of the country, there are two world-famous mountain ranges. The Jura Mountains are in the north. They gave the name to the Jurassic period, when the earth was inhabited by dinosaurs. In the south are the famous Alps, which in some languages gave the name to the extreme sport of mountaineering, alpinism. In addition to the fact that Switzerland is known as a mountainous country, there are a huge number of rivers and lakes in this territory. The largest is Lake Geneva. It is also home to many fashionable resorts, as well as the city of the same name, the second biggest in the country. It is interesting that the city of Bern, which is the political center of the country, is only the fourth in size and it is not the capital. The Swiss could not agree on which city deserved to become the main one in such a beautiful country. Therefore, they compromised. They chose a city where the government would be located, though they did not give it the status of capital. The country, which is located among the mountains and lakes, naturally aroused great interest. Who wouldn't come here, trying to settle in this beautiful place? The Romans, the Northern people, the German Emperor, the Austrian House of the Habsburgs. All this only rallied the inhabitants of differing parts of the country to form the Switzerland we know today. The mountains generally played a big role in the history of the formation and development of the modern Swiss Confederation. They made it hard to reach for invaders and gave birth to numerous myths and legends. It is believed that the caves of Mount Pilatus are still sheltering fire-breathing dragons. The rocks of the Canton of Jura used to be inhabited by magic serpents covered in disgusting green scales, which hid beautiful fairies under them. Thus, the fairies tried to protect their treasures. And the famous Swiss waterfalls swarm with water sprites. In the Middle Ages, a large number of castles were built across the country. They were eventually shrouded in legends and myths. One of the most famous fortresses is Chalon Castle. It is located on the shore of Lake Geneva, already familiar to us, and is surrounded by the snow-capped peaks of the Alps. Lord Byron himself, inspired by the stories of the castle, wrote the world-famous poem, The Prisoner of Chalon. The second most popular castle in Switzerland is the Castle of Gruyere, located on the canton of Fribourg. The name of the castle is translated from French as Crane. In the hallway of the building, there is a severed human hand, which many legends are related to. However, no one remembers how the hand got into the building. Only recently, scientists have found that, apparently, the hand belongs to an Egyptian mummy. It made the improbable story even more complicated. The reliability of medieval castles literally permeates all Switzerland. Here, there are the world-famous Swiss banks, which are the embodiment of reliability, and the well-known Swiss knives, which make living in the mountains much easier, as well as real Swiss watches that are not only accurate, but also are literally works of art. Wow. The Swiss were so imbued with the accuracy of their clockworks that they became one of the most punctual nations in the world. The whole transportation system of the state follows a second-by-second -second timetable. For example, bus schedules are fitted into the timetable of electric trains with Swiss precision. 
everything departs almost to the second. By the way, the Swiss railway is considered one of the most beautiful in the world. No one can be left cold by trains with panoramic windows, running along the bridges over mountain precipices, or flying through fantastic tunnels. There is also the steepest railway in the world, the Pilatusbahn, which goes to the top of Mount Pilatus. Like most mountain countries, Switzerland is famous for its cheeses. Here, they are elevated to a rank of art. Swiss cheese has become an internationally recognized brand. Hmm. Assortments of this product will amaze even the most sophisticated gourmet. Sometimes, the cheese is served melted with various seasonings added to it. Such fondue fountains are quite common at Swiss fests. Another symbol of the country is a fountain of warm chocolate. Swiss chocolate is a dessert known all over the world. If you have a sweet tooth, you just have to visit Switzerland. Fans of vivid extreme sports competitions should watch exclusive horse races. Skijoring, where a person on skis is pulled by a horse. This unique event takes place on a frozen lake amidst the snow-capped mountains of the St. Moritz Resort. The highest glacial peak of the Alps, which rises high above the clouds, is the majestic peak of the Matterhorn. It attracts many climbers. The best alpine ski resorts in the country are built around this mountain. Tourists from all over the world come here to enjoy snowboarding and skiing. This is Switzerland. Traveling here will make a really interesting and memorable vacation. It's time for us to say goodbye, but not for long. Soon we will meet in the next episode to tell you about another country. This was Who's There? See you soon. <laughs>